Yo, what's up everyone? This is J-Rod Sullivan. I'm in Los Angeles at the Kia Forum. We're playing here tonight with Janet Jackson for the Together Again Tour. And I wanna show you guys what I'm using as far as uh, drum gear and electronics. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. Here we go, let's get it. guys so here's the kit for this tour i decided to go with the masters maple gum in piano black 8 10 12 16 18 22 inch kick 14 by six and a half main snare 14 by eight side snare 12 by five side snare music city custom baby and also you can see that i'm on a rack my pearl as well the dr 513c Shout out to Woodshed for creating this together again here for the tour. I also have a new R2 Air mounting system on the rack toms. So for the main snare, you already know I gotta go with the reference. You already know. The 20 ply, heavy duty, the monster, and you know we got the big boy snares on the bottom, the 42 strand snares. 14 by six and a half, of course. Then to the left of that, we have the 14 by eight reference one in piano black. I'm using that for deep tones. And above that, we have the 12 by five custom reference one snare. So I'm using this one for more of the high pitched tones for certain records that we're doing within the show. Now for the drum heads, you already know I'm using Remo. For all three snares, I have the control sound coded. That's a great head, you can't go wrong with that one. Also shout out to drum dots. I'm using the minis and the regular size drum dots on all of my drums, except for the kick drum. Now for all of the toms, I'm using the clear vintage emperors. I love these drum heads. The tone stays consistent. They don't dent easily. So I love these heads. And for the kick drum, I'm using the P3 black dot, the power stroke. Um, this is clear as well. This is my go-to kick drum head. I love this head. Can't go wrong with it. And then also for the resonant heads on all of my drums, except for the kick, I'm using the clear ambassadors. Now to the cymbals, you know I'm rocking with the Zildjians. As far as my hi-hats, I'm using the 14 inch K-series hats. I love these hats, they're crisp, but they're also smooth. Great choice of hats. For this first crash, I'm using the A Custom Fast Crash. This is an 18 inch crash, I love it. Next to that, I'm using the 18 inch K Cluster Crash. Prior to this tour, I haven't used this one a lot, but I'm loving this one so far. It's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Now for this splash right here, I'm using the 10 inch A Custom EFX Splash. This is my go-to splash, I love it. It sounds amazing, it's quick, it gets out the way, but you can hear it, it projects very well. Now next to it, I have the exact same symbol on top, but up under that, I have a 10 inch Oriental China to create some type of uh, stack, splash stack. I'm loving this combination so far. And then as far as my ride symbol, I'm using a 21 inch K organic ride for this tour. This has been a go-to of mine for the last at least five years. So of course I'm loving that one. Now to the right of that, I'm using a stack. This is a stack that I've used for the last several years, except the only difference is for this tour, I have the China on top. So it's a 14 inch China over a 16 inch KEFX. 
and I'm loving this combination, of course. But the reason why I have the China on top is because instead of it being like a quick sounding stack, it sustains a little bit more. So and for this particular situation, that's why I have it that way. I love it. And above that, I'm using the K Trash Mash. This is a 19 inch symbol. I love this. This is one of my go to's even in my studio. And then above that, last but not least, I'm using the Paper Thin Crash, 19 inch. I love it, I love the feel of it, I love the sound of it. Now let's get into the electronics. So for this tour, I'm using the Roland TD50. Shout out to Sweetwater for sending this module for this tour. This module has 14 ins and eight outs. And it definitely does the job for this music. There are a lot of records where I have to play electronic drum sounds and this is perfect for this situation. And then above that, I have my Apple iPad. This one has all my notes that I need for each song. And then above that, I have a mount for my iPhone. On the snares, I'm using the acoustic triggers by rolling the RT30H triggers, the single triggers on all three snares. And then on the kick drum, I'm using the rolling RT30K. Now for external triggers, I'm using the DAWs pads. I'm using the circle pads by DAWs. One of them I'm using for trigger sounds, but the other two that you see above, I'm using to toggle between patches and kits to go forward and backwards. So I'm only using those as controllers. And then this one in the middle, I use that one for clap sounds and auxiliary sounds. For the one to the far right, I'm using that one for uh, hi-hat sounds. Shout out to DAWs. So just to give you guys an idea on how I use the two pads that are controllers to go forward and backward between kits, this is how it works. So I have my iPad and the TD50 connected with each other through the DAWs pads so that they can both change simultaneously from song to song. And the pads are plugged into the two auxiliary inputs on the TD50. So as far as my iPad and TD50 being able to change simultaneously, they are both connected through this small module called the Air Turn. I won't go into too much detail on how they're connected, but I'm just scratching the surface and giving you all an idea of what I'm working with. Now as far as drumsticks, I'm using the Vic Firth Extreme 5As for this tour as my main stick. And then I'm also using the Dual Tone Sticks by Vic Firth which on one end is a teardrop tip and the other end is a mallet felt. So I use these for songs where I have to play uh, cymbal swells, soft cymbal swells with the mallet side. And then I can switch quickly if I have to go back to playing with regular sticks on the teardrop side. So I love this stick. Now as far as hardware, I'm using Pearl hardware, everything. I'm using a red line eliminator as my kick pedal and a red line Eliminator hi-hat stand. I'm also using a foot switch by Boss called the FS6. I'm using this to toggle between kits as well. And last but not least, shout out to JH Audio for providing these in-ears for this tour. One side says J-Rod, the other side says Got Pocket.